helping out friends and family with a spot of decorating is one thing, but what about two of the Beatles? After becoming one of the defining artists of the swinging 60s, Dudley Edwards did just that. Yeah, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, both invited him to live with them while he painted murals in their homes. It's not That's quite amazing, DIY. Isn't it? I know, I would do that. <laughs> I can't paint or do any DIY, but I'd go and uh, stay with Ringo and Paul. Uh, 60 years later, back at home in Yorkshire with a new exhibition, our reporter Michelle Lyons went to meet him. <laughs> It isn't a car at all, it's a painting. That's what joint owners David Vaughan, Douglas Binder and Dudley Edwards say. And if you want your jalopy jazzed up and have several hundred pounds to spare, this is the place to take it. The swinging 60s catapulted Halifax artist Dudley Edwards well and truly into the spotlight. Having been to art college in Bradford, he headed for the big smoke to make his mark in the world. And boy, did he do that. We moved down to London and we, all we had was a chest of drawers and a couple of chairs. And we said, well, we're artists, we might as well uh, colour them, paint them. Well, David Bailey had his studio directly opposite our studio, and he bought it. Their colourful style took off, and it was partly influenced by their Yorkshire roots. When I was a student at Bradford Art College, the first immig Asian immigrants uh, had arrived in Bradford. And I suppose because they come from such a colourful place as Pakistan and India, they painted the doors these really vivid colours, really bright colours, and they just really stood out like jewels in a gold mine. They just really, and uh, so we wanted to kind of perpetuate that. We wanted to bring colour and joy into it because London was also dull and grey and everything. From furniture to cars to murals, Dudley was in demand. He even got a commission from Paul McCartney. Paul's seen the car and he wants it, he wants his piano done. Yeah, Doug and I decided to go our separate ways. And at the time I was broke more or less. And somebody got the message through to me that Paul wanted me to do a mural in his house and to, to live with him while I'm doing it. Well this took place over maybe three months or more and uh, uh, I didn't get much mural work done because he was always dragging me out to either restaurants or nightclubs. I was with him in the, the nightclub, the Bag of Nails, the night that he met Linda. Paul said, uh, uh, Ringo wants a mural doing. Well, Ringo lived way out in Weybridge, as did John Lennon and, and George Harrison. Uh, so I went over to Weybridge and I lived with Ringo for a while. But Doug always wanted to get back to his roots, so he returned to Yorkshire to his first love of painting. Most of the paintings were abstract, not quite as, as decorative as the 60s work, but nonetheless abstract. But I gradually, it's metamorphosed into, it's sort of transformed into figurative work. Now you're approaching your 80th birthday. Is this exhibition a culmination of your work, a celebration of your life? No, oh, I hope not. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 looking, I'm wanting another 30 years. <laughs> Michelle Lyons, BBC News. That phone call. Ringo needs a mural doing. Who else to deliver it? That's the way to do it, isn't it?